Good day, this is uh, I believe my 11th broadcast. Got rained out this morning uh, doing a series on uh, repeat on the 101 series. So I was just going to skip ahead and uh, show you guys out there how to build a stove. Basically, your, your heater or your stove is all the same same device, just because of the way that the uh, drill pipe itself is designed. We're going to do a horizontal cross cut, and we're going to draw in our centerpiece, being the drill pipe. You can say uh, this is according to scale, so we have about a two inch, uh, maybe three sixteenths, quarter inch steel pipe here. Okay. I guess you use blue for the water. That's your main part, that's your heart of your stove or your heater. Now we're going to draw in the water plenum. The water plan on you can just use a barrel shape. My artwork's not the best, but just try to get the point across. This is for your water. This pipe here is going to heat this water. Joe, the direct heating of the pipe is, is your is your metal, which makes up for about maybe two thirds of the heat. And you have your flame come out coming out there, so that's another uh, third of your energy. And if you want to really make a highly efficient water heater that uses just a fraction of the fuel. You want to go one step further in design an outer plenum, like a, you want to make a containment field around the water. And probably my, if I was going to, going to choose a design, it would be a, hexa, a hexagonal design. So you would have a, a circle inside of a hex, hexa, hexagram, right? Okay. Okay, so just imagine that this is your hexagram. Again, you could say that this would be pretty close to being the scale. To make your outer containment, you probably just break. You know, take. Uh, I would use galvanized. I'd probably use maybe like a light stainless because this stuff does get hot. You don't want you don't want to breathe in uh, galvanized if it starts to burn. So the safer bet would be to use a light gauge seal or, or stainless. Notice that. The pipe can be bolted into the water tank or into your plenum. And this whole unit can be slid into the hexagonal framework. So if you ever needed to work on it, it all pulls apart quite easily. You got your fire here, and say you got your propane going to here, say, okay? Get your propane going in. You could have it in the center of the tube, but just say for now there. So you're, you're getting the vortex flame there. If you crank it up a bit, you're going to get uh, more than exhaust. You can actually get a, a level four flame here. This is your level three. This is your level 
two or level four. If you, if you turn it right down, you, where the flame is just at this point here, that would be level four or level two. You just say that this, for now, that this is a level four, and level four is where your pipe is running at, at its peak performance, it's creating a, a resonant frequency, it's running the best, it's, it's fully tuned in. It's fully tuned in, and at that point, the water from the propane will actually generate a hydrogen burn. Okay, let's wrap this up. You got your flame coming out, and what you want here is a deflector plate. So the flame will hit here and be reflected back around the containment. We'll go on this side now. So we'll extend this. This is more, more or less your exhaust panel. So you can bring it down like this. We'll leave a little gap there. And this design is not perfected yet. You want something like that because you want to be able to deflect them from both sides. And here, we're going to put a fan, see? This fan is a secondary fan. And it's going to bring air into the system, right? Remember that this plate's probably around about 2,000 degrees. So the water's being heated from the center out, and you want to, you know, by diverting the, the exhaust heat here and bringing air in like this, you're actually creating a, a shroud of a fairly hot gas, exhaust gas is probably anywhere from 1,000 to 1,200 degrees. So you're we're able to heat this water up in a relatively short time. Now, as you come to this end, you could have another plenum here. It could be, say, isolated somewhat. You could have your heated air coming out here okay it's coming through here and it's going out here so now you just turn this into a space heater at the same time that you're you're superheating your water and you still have access to your your cell so the design is not perfect but you can get the idea how, of how it's going to work well, let's see I guess that's about it for, for here. So you're actually creating the heat here. The heat, the, the heat from the pipe is heating the water. You're creating your flame you're using the fan to divert uh, the hot ex uh, exhaust back around the, the water pump. And uh, that's your, your, your cycle. And there's more improvements that you can be made uh, this can be set horizontal, it can, it can be set vertical. There's a, a few modifications that you, that you can do. And one, mod one, one thing that I would do, I would make this plate here so you can divert, say, two-thirds of your heat to your top panel. And as you're doing that, you actually turn the top part of your containment of your heater, turn it into a stove that you can cook on. So you're making your hot water, you're also turn this into a space heater, and you can cook. So you have, have a multi-purpose stove, heater, or whatever. And I'd like to see when you guys make this.